Hello once again, Mark Ritchie with Virginia Rider Magazine, and today we're in beautiful Highland County, Virginia. Behind me is Hightown, Virginia, which is at the intersection of Route 640 and 250. Route 250 also serves as the divide between the Chesapeake Bay watersheds of the Potomac and the James. In fact, it is said that rain that falls on the left side of Jacob Hevner's barn, just behind the silo, will flow to the Chesapeake Bay via the Potomac and via the James on the right side. Just some interesting footnotes that may perhaps enhance the ride. I know it does me when I'm riding next to a stream. It's always kind of cool to know where it ends up at. So today we're going to be riding on the beautiful Bluegrass Valley Road, which follows one of the Potomac River's sources, south branch of the Potomac River, all the way to the charming village of Bluegrass between Monterey and Lance Mountains. It's especially dramatic during the autumn months with tidal waves of color. So sit back and enjoy the ride and thanks again for watching Virginia Rider Magazine. That's right, folks. He's all fired up over geography and watersheds. Never used to be that interesting in high school. Possibly because it was kind of forced on you. Welcome to Bluegrass Valley Road. And we're going to follow the South Branch Potomac River where it's just formed for about eight or so miles to the charming village of Bluegrass. And it's kind of this in and out dance of canopies and wide open spaces, obscuring and revealing snowy mountain in the distance. It's pretty neat. Some can just park this in the highway gear and cruise. It's a bit narrow and bumpy and there's some driveways so I like to let the engine brake when I'm in downhill portions and when I don't want to go so fast. It's an overcast day in May. Temperatures are 82. Wendy is in full tropical trim with all of her vents open. I'm sporting the speed and strength mesh jacket, which is surprisingly comfortable on the summer months. It takes advantage of your perspiration like a radiator does and cools you down. There's a couple of these. There are some horse and buggies on this road on occasion, so you want to watch out on the camelbacks in case there's something moving slowly on the other end. This is a great part of a loop if you're traveling to and from Monterey. Most people come out this way and they just stick to 220 and 250, which are fine in their own right, but this digs a little deeper, like a deep cut on a prog rock album. You get to hear more than what they're just playing on the radio. Snowy Mountain once again. That's also a great road which we'll be doing a video on. In fact, they just there's a squirrel. Get out of the way, little guy. We were on it a few days ago and they just paved the west side of it properly. No chip sealed, nothing. It's just smooth velvet. Again. 
if you love being out in the middle of nowhere and riding on empty roads in wide open spaces, then this one checks all the boxes. Once you get into the village of Bluegrass, there'll be a stop sign right where the Bluegrass Mercantile is. By the way, that's a good place to stop if you want to get a drink or a snack. I think they even make sandwiches and things like that. But if you go straight, that'll end up on 220. Um, just before Now, I could be mistaken, but it's very near the West Virginia-Virginia state line. And then if you turn left at the stop sign, that will end up on Snowy Mountain Road, which if you go left, you go towards Seneca Rocks. If you turn right, that'll also end up on 220, a couple miles north of had you gone straight. Just cool ways of configuring loops and alternative routes there seem to be endless possibilities out here and it's just another great back road void of any shopping centers fast food joints box stores Shepard the traffic. This is a Friday afternoon. This is also my third attempt to video this road. I'm really excited to show it to everyone who hasn't been on it before. There's some gravel there. first attempt, it started to rain. The second attempt, I had done another video along and when I was processing that, I forgot to put the SD card back in the camera, so I got all the way out to this, the set and no storage capacity. usually some gravel right here as well this is maple sugar road which is just I don't know maybe like a half a mile past where we had turned onto this road and that's where it ends up so if you want to take that road it's a another great alternative I prefer this one just because of these views these seem to be a little less obscured on this route I don't know if you've noticed or if the camera's captured the stream on the left but that's pretty much been there the whole entire way there's an old historic mill that's been remodeled into a residence up here on the left it's kind of cool there's a a little dam with a waterfall on it. I don't think the camera is going to pick it up, but it's always there it is on the left. It's really cool to see. This is the residential part of Bluegrass. not hard to imagine the time before motor vehicles this being a one of the not the first but one of the historic towns that existed back in the 1800s or so 
And we're approaching the business section of bluegrass. There's a couple, a few guys that have the right idea. Yeah, they know. Good job, guys. Cheers. Yeah, got away from the side-by-side, -side too. It's all good. Well, once again, thanks for all the likes, shares, and subscribes. What did you think of that road? Please leave a comment. Um, we'll catch you on the next one. And thanks again for watching Virginia Rider Magazine. Cheers.